And we are back here on the WHHI TV Daily News. With me now is Kaylee Vaughn, and she is with the Morris Center for Low Country Heritage. And it obviously means, since you're visiting with me today, Kaylee, that we are about to be in a new season because you've got new things coming up for the fall. But before we get to that, we want to talk about how people can help the Morris Center continue to do what they do with your Fill the Tank campaign. So tell us about that. Yeah, so um, between now and the end of the year, we are really um, striving to reach our uh, $50,000 fundraising goal. So we have several ways that folks can do that through our Fill the Tank initiative. You can find out about it on our website. If you go to morrisheritagecenter.org and hit the support tab, there is a Fill the Tank page. And within this um, campaign, we have a lot of different levels in which people can um, donate and support the museum. So for example, uh, until the end of this month, we're having a car wash campaign through Zips Car Wash, so people can purchase car washes uh, to support the museum that way. Um, and then we, on October 5th, we have a uh, Gola Music Brunch that we're uh, selling tickets to that um, is happening on October 5th. Uh, it's going to have uh, really good food and also music and a little bit about the history of kind of black music and its Gola roots here in the South. And then um, October 15th through the 19th, we're going to have a double good popcorn uh, fundraiser. So any of the proceeds we make uh, from that, the Moore Center gets to keep 50% of that. And then um, to round out the um, November into the end of the year, on November 9th, we're having a program called Echoes of Honey Hill. And that is a mini symposium for our history buffs out there. Um, we'll have a buffet uh, dinner. We'll have a motor coach VIP experience of the Honey Hill battle site. And then we're going to have three different speakers at the event. So there's going to be a lot of fun things going on at that program on November 9th. And then the last thing is our uh, Viking Cruise uh, river um, Viking River Cruise raffle that we're going to be uh, having, so folks can buy tickets uh, in the months of November and December for a Viking cruise uh, eight days uh, on one of their river cruises. So we have a lot of different ways that folks can, um, you know, give to the museum depending on whatever level works for them. You know, we have some, you know, between like you know car washes and popcorn and, and raffle tickets up to like you know our you know, a little bit. Uh, uh, higher ticketed event. So um, whatever is comfortable for you, you can find out about it on our website. And like I said, we greatly appreciate anything you can do. This money goes to help us um, continue our educational programming here at the museum, bring really good exhibits here, and then just make sure that we can keep the lights on. Okay, absolutely. Well, those are some really great events and a really fun way to give back to the center. And of course, that raffle prize is pretty uh, outstanding. So let's move, though, real quickly into the programs that you have coming up for the fall. Yeah, so we have, um, starting even this weekend, we still have uh, tickets available for Saturday's uh, Sweetgrass Basket Workshop. Um, you can also, if you're not able to do it this Saturday, we have tickets available for December's uh, workshop, too, on December 14th. Um, and then we have our printmaking workshop on, on October 26th. Uh, we're selling tickets for that as well. Um, and then uh, we have like a lot of other fun family programs and stuff coming up. So, for example, we have our Story Fest happening on October 19th. Um, and this is one of our programs that's grant funded for South Carolina Humanities and ties into our um, Native American exhibit and our Gullah exhibit. We're going to have uh, two Gullah storytellers here for that event, as well as a Catawba storyteller, too. So um, a lot of fun, exciting things happening here at the Moore Center. Um, and then we're, of course, still um, carrying on our uh, Fuel the Mind uh, field trip program. Uh, we're fully launching it this year, and we're still looking for docents. We're having actually a second round of docent training happening actually starting next uh, Monday, uh, next Tuesday. So uh, we still have spots available. If you want to be a docent at the museum to help us give these fourth grade field trips, you can sign up on our website as well, and we'd love to have you for our docent training in the month of October. Well, that is a packed calendar with fundraisers yeah. and fantastic programs. And of course, the field trips. I mean, I just love everything you're doing. It's a great time to get involved with the Morris Center. So thanks, Kaylee. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back, so don't go away.